Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Hamna. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create a dashboard from scratch. So in my previous video, uh, we have discussed uh, all the potential differences between uh, report and dashboard. So if you are interested and you want to know more, uh, I'm going to link that uh, in the description box so you can go and check out. So uh, we'll see how we can build a dashboard from a report and uh, what are the steps. Uh, so we'll uh, see one by one. So before I start, first uh, we have to log into app.powerbi.com, uh, which runs into the browser. So first of all, we need to understand when we already have a report, uh, a very uh, important element uh, in a Power BI, uh, why we need to create a dashboard. Um, so the need is that, uh, as we know, a report is a very powerful uh, way for adding all the visuals and uh, to depict uh, data into uh, some meaningful form uh, but uh, with, as we know data is the most is the most vital and critical uh, thing for many organizations and uh, so in in order when we do not want to share the entire information like uh, with the report uh, we tend to give access to the data also like uh, what is the data set and uh, what are the fields added uh, to the particular visual so if you do not want to give that particular access to any particular user then dashboard is the much easier way uh, where we can share the particular visual if you want uh, also we can share our entire uh, report uh, which we gonna see uh, shortly so this is the main need why we have to create a dashboard so dashboard we can share to any team members without uh, you know uh, worrying about uh, the data um, like uh, how uh, it, it gonna be used or misused so now we'll see how we can create a dashboard um, so I'm gonna use the same report which uh, I have used previously as you can see I have uh, created so many pages at the bottom so now um, I just want to edit this report and I just want to use a uh, particular visuals uh, which I'm going to pin to my dashboard so I'm going to take this uh, pie chart as you can see here in the screen you can see select an existing dashboard or create a new one so I just want to create my own dashboard uh, my broad Okay, I'll give this name my prod and I'll just go and uh, hit the pin so as you can see it is already created uh, so there are some uh, uh, different options you are getting here pinned to the mobile or something like that which we're gonna discuss later any other visual which I am interested to add is this So since we created one dashboard now we'll select the existing dashboard and we'll go here and we'll select my prod pin. Okay. As as uh, now we have pinned two particular visuals so now we'll go and see the dashboard. So the immediate window which comes uh, after creating uh, or pinned a particular visual is go to the dashboard. If not, then we can go directly here under this section under my workspace dashboard. We'll click here and we can see here my prod. Now we'll click here. As you can see, uh, we had selected two particular visual. One is a pie visual, pie chart, and another one is a tile. Visual. So as you can see uh, for reports we have so many different options where we can modify a report, we can modify a visual, we can select some fields, deselect, we can add filters, there are so many different options but here you can see only one page but uh, not uh, many features you cannot modify this report other than added the details. So you have only these many options to edit a particular uh, visuals detail. You can uh, change the sub subtitle uh, by month. So we'll keep the same. And if you want to 
change the title of this particular visual you can change like we'll give a uh, sense information and we'll simply hit apply as you can see here this has been changed the title has been changed and there are some couple of uh, feature which I'm going to uh, share the first option which comes uh, for the dashboard is add title So if you want to add a particular title, there are se uh, several uh, media which is available like web content, image, text box or video. So uh, suppose I just want to give uh, some meaningful name to the particular dashboard like uh, the main text box which reflects the purpose of my uh, dashboard is this. I just want to give my title and I just want to skip this subtitle I just want to apply so I have added uh, this particular element uh, by using this and here now if you want to add any particular image you can add uh, so you have any image URL you can paste it directly um, so let me search any URL okay if you want to add some comments uh, You can see under comment section uh, so the next thing which you want to uh, use is uses matrix uh, this is very uh, important and uh, very uh, powerful uh, feature where uh, the, uh, every particular dashboard this particular uh, option is available where you can see uh, the uses of your dashboard like how many clicks per day um, how many share per day the, for that particular dashboard so you can analyze uh, or you can generate some report based on that um, so if you want to uh, pin this particular report you can do that by using this uh, option pin live page here I'll select existing my prod and pin now you can go I'll refresh I'll go to my prod and you can see this particular uh, option is being uh, pinned to particular uh, dashboard uh, any other thing is that uh, if you want we can changes uh, the position of uh, the visuals by simply dragging and drop mouse so as you can see here um, okay and then bottom I have two different visuals which I'm gonna arrange it in a format so that we can view it properly now the next option is view related so this option uh, particularly tells you uh, 
what report has been used to create uh, this particular dashboard as you can see here uh, the related uh, report is my prod info and the related data set is the uh, product info so it, it can give you uh, this particular information like from where this uh, particular dashboard has been created mark as favorite your particular uh, dashboard so next time when you click here this will be available here with the star again we'll go back so subscribe is a very powerful feature uh, where you can add a number of users under uh, subscribe you can add email addresses uh, so that you can send the notification to bunch of people in a form of email uh, so right now I have added two name myself and uh, Vijay Sahu uh, So I just want to let these two persons know that I have created a new dashboard and go and check I can give here a link If I wish to Suppose and I'll give save So another thing is that as you can see here when I hover any particular visual uh, it it, uh, it bears like a link so if I click it will open uh, that particular report from which this particular visual has been created so we can go and uh, click hit and it will uh, open your report so now I have created my dashboard suppose uh, these many information I just want to put uh, into my dashboard so now I want to share this particular dashboard so we have to click here share you have to give the email addresses here and any message and here uh, we have two check boxes allow recipient to share your dashboard send email notification to recipient so if you do not want that you can unbox and un uh, uncheck it or you want you can check it also uh, power bay gives a very uh, flexible feature where we want to view this particular dashboard as a web view or phone view so as you can see here uh, i have marked as a phone view so now you can look at this particular dashboard in this manner as well again we'll change it to web the last option is that uh, beside the web view uh, we have dashboard themes available So these many dashboard themes are available. Uh, you can choose whichever you want to use. Suppose I just want to use this particular theme. So it will change the background. So it is as per your convenient. Uh, next option is a duplicate dashboard. So it, if we uh, want to create a duplicate dashboard, uh, just like uh, uh, one more copy, I can uh, do that. I just want to print this. So I can do that as well. I want to refresh my dashboard tiles. It will be refreshed uh, in case if you are adding a few more uh, visuals. So each and every dashboard has uh, some capacity. Uh, so we cannot just uh, you know uh, add uh, n number of visuals. Uh, because it, it impacts the performance of a dashboard because since it has only one page we do not have capacity to you know add a different number of pages uh, in a way we can add to reports uh, so we have to be very careful while adding a visual because uh, we cannot uh, add uh, a number of visuals uh, numbers are restricted uh, because it uh, impacts its performance it will slow down your uh, dashboard performance it will open very very slow then we have uh, settings there are, there are some settings which you want to uh, if you want to add you can do that it's a dashboard name 
Q&A. It's a very powerful feature which uh, I'm going to discuss uh, in our next video. And if you have any comments, comment section if you want to uh, visible to many people, you can make it uh, enable or disable, and you can save. So this is my dashboard. Uh, once you have uh, added and set all the things, you can click on save. And again, you can open my prod and you can see your data is uh, available. Now I'll change uh, theme to back light and I'll save. So I hope uh, you found this video to be helpful and you learned something new. Uh, please uh, hit like and subscribe uh, this particular video. It means a lot to me. And please let me know if you have any query and concern. Please uh, comment down to the comment box. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you and uh, have a very nice day.